Hello everyone, welcome to a, another video lesson on 6.6 six here. We're writing an equation for a parabola in vertex form with given information. So here's our given information. We know that the parabola has a vertex of negative 1, 4, and we know that it passes through the point 2, 1. So if you look on this on like a graphing calculator, there's our vertex at a negative 1, up 4, and we know that the graph goes through the point 2, 1. Now because parabolas are always symmetrical, we could then sketch the other side too. So we want to graph, the, or we want to write this information in vertex form, which is y equals a times the quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Now y and x, they represent an infinite number of ordered pairs that lie on every parabola. It represents this point, it represents this point, it represents this point, it represents this point. All of the points on the graph are represented by the letters y and x. So now that we have a specific one in 2, 1, we're going to put that in for y and x. So 2 is going to be your x coordinate, so 2 is going to go in right here. And 1 is your y coordinate, so 1 goes in right here. So it's 1 equals, we don't know our a value. This is one thing that we have to find. So it is a times the quantity, x, which we know is 2, minus h. h is the x coordinate of our vertex. So here's our vertex. Our vertex is always at hk. So it's 2 minus h, which is a negative 1. So 2 minus minus 1 that quantity squared plus k. And our k value, it tells us, is 4. Now, we have <coughs> one unknown, and that unknown is a. We're solving for a. So to solve for a, let's simplify everything around a. Subtract 4 from both sides, and we would get a negative 3 on the left. That equals a times the quantity. 2 minus a minus 1 is 2 plus 1, and 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So now we have a negative 3 equals a times 9. So to get a all by itself, we divide both sides by 9, and there we have our a value. Our a value is a negative 3 ninths, or a negative 1 third. And hopefully that makes sense to you. Our a value tells us the direction of opening, our a value is a negative number, and hence, our graph opens down. So, to finish this one up, we need to put this in vertex form, which again is y equals a times the quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Our y and x always remain unknown. The reason for that is, is because they represent an infinite number of ordered pairs. We fill in the letters for h, k, and a. So a we found to be a negative one-third, so y equals a negative one-third, x minus the x-coordinate of the vertex, so x minus a minus one. So once again, it is x plus one, plus the y-coordinate of the vertex, k, which is the number four. And there we have it. We are done. This is the equation in vertex form for this graph, which contains this information. You guys try number eight on your own. Once you get all your information, put it in, solve for A. Okay, after you try this on your own, let's look at the graph. This one opens up, so hopefully you got a positive A value. Your vertex form again is Y equals A times the quantity X minus H quantity squared plus K. So knowing that, we have four, which is our Y coordinate that it, the graph passes through, equals A, which we want to find x, which is 3, minus, here's our hk values, minus 1 quantity squared, plus the k value of 2. Now we simply <coughs> solve for a. Subtract 2, subtract 2. We get 2 equals a times 3 minus 1 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So it's a times 4. Hopefully all of you got an A value to be a positive two-fourths or a positive one-half. So once again, your A value is positive, so that means that it opens up. There's a good sign. Now you put it in with the rest of the information. Y equals A times the quantity, so one-half times the quantity. X minus H, again your H value is one. X minus one quantity squared plus k, and your k value in this case is the number 2. There should have been your answer for problem number 8. Let me know if you had any difficulties with that when you get to class tomorrow.